The, the goal is to get the maximum use out of the machine, mm -hmm. maximum use out of the robot. So we've even seen this where it's been put between two machines. Well, hey there, hi there, ho there, folks. We're uh, over here at IMTS 2022, and I'm talking again with my buddy John from Langwork Holding. And you know these guys for their fantastic repeatability and their work holding solutions, but they also do automation. Is that right, John? That is correct. Actually, that's part of our development going forward, like we talked about the Hallback system before, but also the Rob Robotrex kind of gets us into that next level where we see a lot of customers going in the end. So, yeah, so Lang did come up with a simple system for it with a double mm -hmm. part system and as you can see the robot moving in our vices in and out for the machine for machine. Yep. And from, from what I understand something that's really important to you John is when you're coming up with these automation solutions you like to work directly with the customer to define their scope. Oh we do yeah we definitely do because there's no like let's say canned automation that fits every customer so it's really important for us that we work with we actually have our partner here Metalcraft on there who put together the cell for us for the uh, show and what our the entire goal is, is that obviously the work holding is extremely important from the beginning, but in the end what we want to make sure of is that there's other cycles, other uh, features that we need to do within the machine like the grippers, different things like that, the reach, maybe we're doing one, two machines. What's the best fit for the customer in the end? This is a big investment for our customers, so we want to make sure it's right. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I think is unique about this cell, at least just at a, at a first glance, is that it's on a cart. So, so how does that work? How does that locate? Well, so the cart is actually a very simple system because what happens is that with the cart, the cart's able to be pulled out, and normally this is a two-cart configuration on there. For the show, we only went with a simple one-cart uh, system, but you can pull the carts in and out, and as you're working with one cart, you can roll in the second one or change out the parts, roll in the second one. The robot actually does identification that the new cart's been loaded in and also where all the tooling is located by using the infrared sensor on it. So once it figures that out, it then puts it into the production, and then we go off with the carrying on on that cart. And then when the first cart is finished, that cart can be pulled out while the other one's still continuing. That's fantastic. With, yeah. the, t with the two carts, you're really getting that high spindle utilization. The oh, cell yeah. does not stop just to take out your finished parts and reload with some new billets. Exactly, exactly. The goal is to get the maximum use out of the machine, mm -hmm actual use out of the robot. So we've even seen this where it's been put between two machines. Okay. So. so with a cell like this, does it still have that Lang Micron repeatability? Yes, it sure does. Sure does. Everything is based across the zero, zero point system on there. So we're making sure that with the vices and everything that we're moving forward and we're keeping everything running and keeping that repeat, repeatability and accuracy that our customers want. Mm -hmm. Yep, and uh, yeah, that's very important. So the control, how easy is it to use? Is it, uh, if you break the light curtain, can it be reset pretty quick? Well, it can be set, uh, you know, my friend over there, Dean, because I wave my hand into the light curtain, I keep stopping it, but yeah, it's really easy to reset and get yourself back into production and up and running again. Mm -hmm. So with uh, a cell like this and your customers, I'm sure you see a lot of different things, mm -hmm. uh, but on a single cart, is it all the same billets or can you have a variety of different jobs on one cart? You can have a variety of different jobs and that's where when we're defining the scope of the project and how we're building it out, it's really how does the customer envision it? That's the most critical thing on there. To look at the future, where can it go? And then at that same point, then we'll take and we'll look at the different pin configuration, the vice sizes, different things like that so we can utilize, get the best utilization off of the entire cart. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you know, pretty much anyone could utilize such a system, but mm -hmm. where do you see most of your sales as far as batch quantity goes? Is it is it lower batch quantity or is it high production? You know, we can actually go through any of that. We could go through it with the simplicity of this is that it can be low volume work, you know, different tasks going on. It doesn't have to necessarily be high volume work on there. It's just such a simple system that really the machine, this is a simple uh, IO interface with the machine for communication on there. So from that point, they're able to just keep running through whatever different jobs they're actually loading into each of the devices and defining. So speaking of, of the communication with the machine in, in that interface and that connection, is a cell like this going to take over the machine tool or if they had like a hot one-off job, are they still able to access their machine? Well, and that's the nice part about it is that they can still access their machine. They can stop this, put in and hold. I have a hot job, I got to go in there. So they can load in their new job into the machine. And then after that point, it gets done. They come back to here, it just resumed. So. Fantastic. Yeah. So it's a, it's a great system. How how can a customer, one of your end users, reach out to someone to, to look into purchasing one of these? Well, actually, so the best thing for them to do is to reach out to Lang directly on there, kind of come in, talk to us. Normally we will get, we'll talk 
about the scope on the upfront, uh, you know, like the upfront discussion, just to kind of see where we're at. But we'll pull a metal craft pretty quick into it, and once we get that, then we'll really get down into the nuts and bolts on, on what needs to be done. Is there drying that needs to be done, or other types of utilization that the customer is expecting out of the gate? So. Fantastic. Thanks for telling me about it, John. I really you, enjoy the cart aspect of it. I think that's really unique. Um, and thanks for telling me about thanks. it. Sir. Thank you very much, Eric. Uh, Take care. You.